Hello everyone, the Anthony S. You're not alone. I want to talk to you today about feedback and also the fact of never taking feedback personal. This comes from a conversation from the other day of my Toastmasters Club where I happened to be doing a speech yesterday as of this recording and I happened to get one of the better evaluators for my speech, which is super awesome. She knows a lot about public speaking, a lot about proper form, and how everything should work together. One of her big comments was talking about um, things that I've never been used to doing before. I'm a very impromptu speaker. I don't script out these. Um, I don't script out these podcasts. I hardly script out any speech I ever do, any conversation I ever do. I'm more in the moment than I ever will be doing. I will never, you know, I'm going to start practicing it actually based on my feedback, but I've never really written down a whole speech, rehearsed it a thousand times, and then done it. I've always just had some keynotes down and went with it. So, feedback and why I should take it extremely often. I mean, more than anything else. It's it's a necessity. Simply because when you do things, when you go do your speeches, when you run a meeting, anything like that, the problem with it is you don't really know how you're doing. You have a feel for how the meeting's going, you have a feel for how people are taking your conversation but you'll never really know what they're thinking and most time what individuals tell you is not what it is there's not a lot of moments where you have someone that's in your best interest trying to tell you how to be better that's why I do the Toastmasters because I know that they're gonna give me feedback on exactly what I should do to do have a better speech, to be a better orator, all those given things. So, as much as possible, reach out to people you know and trust, mentors, friends, anyone that you know will give you actual feedback. Even bosses. To be honest, bosses love doing that. Next time you give a speech, or you're the leader of a meeting, or... Heck, even sometimes when you're just a public place and you're seeing how well you can act sociably, how well you network, get someone to listen to you and see what you could be doing better or what at least what they think you could be doing better because two things will happen. One, they will, they might give you a nugget. You know, it might be something amazing that you didn't know or think about and it'll be a mate like it'll be a positively game changer for you. Second thing, even if they don't, they will bring up things that you don't know within yourself that you can A, already know about and practice more on, or B, you'll notice something, what they're talking about, of ways that you could do something better. Maybe you've read a book and a subject was brought up, but you didn't think it pertained to you until someone came back and said, well, you were doing this, and you realizing, oh, I am, in fact, not following this, this good rule. Second thing, never take it personal and this one's almost obvious if you're getting feedback from anyone for any reason even if you don't ask for it taking feedback personally is a horrible knock to your person I think your character is maybe even a better line for it if someone's giving you feedback they're one of two things there's someone that truly cares and they want to help you get better or they're probably a hater someone doesn't like you and is trying to bring you down both things educate you greatly because both of those people are going to scrutinize you to the you know to cross t's dot the i's the person that truly cares just wants you to get better the person that doesn't like you is going to nitpick every little thing you do and it's going to be such a detailed description of why you did horrible that there's so much to be learned there it's hilarious haters are one of the best teachers on the planet when, when you lose, you learn a lot. When you have haters, you learn a lot. Because they just love... Haters love picking at you. Any possible thing they can. Obviously, take it with a grain of salt. There's some things that don't matter. But there are... The nuggets come up from haters. And from losing, of course. You know, you always learn from losing because you lost. But the two main things. Bring it back around. 
Try to get as much feedback as you can, as often as you can. We can always do better. Second thing, never take it personal. This is the Anthony S. You're not alone. Hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you all soon.